the country is aching for healthy civil discourse. We certainly see it play out in places like Washington, D.C., where legislators from different political parties literally don't speak to each other. Unless creative solutions can be found, we will continue to stand on the sidelines and shout at each other. It's important to create places and programs where respectful, even differing and controversial exchanges can take place in healthy ways. As great as this country is, it's time to sort of have a new kind of reckoning that is rooted in our strength as a diverse population. The Civil Society Fellowship offers us today's opportunity to foster creative, productive, optimistic, nonpartisan problem solving, and it's needed now more than ever. The ideal candidate of our new Civil Society Fellowship is someone who will go the distance and want to be engaged. Doing this with people who are still early in their career, early in their lives, not yet set, is an opportune time to engage people in a, in a habit of inquiry. Diversity is critical to the success of the fellowship. That could be gender, race, religion, sexual orientation, geographic location, even political persuasion or ideology. I was born and raised in Chesapeake, Virginia, southern state, southern town, um, with a father who wore a turban. We had a community of people who didn't look like us, didn't talk like us, but we had an ability to root for the same athletic teams, go to the same schools, engage in conversation. We're looking for someone who's willing to sit with someone who may be of a different part of the political spectrum and find common ground. The Aspen Institute is committed to building a free, just, and equitable society. The Anti-Defamation League is a global anti-hate organization. By combining ADL's expertise with Aspen's pedagogy, I think we can do something incredibly exciting with the Civil Society Fellowship. I think we're all born good, and we all have an opportunity to reach our potential, but only if we're given access to networks like Aspen, like the ADL, like these fellowship programs that help us on the journey. Everyone will start in Aspen and will move to and through different parts of the world. Now the question is, can good ideas be put into action? I hope that this will allow people to craft creative solutions so that we might actually see change. I expect civil society fellows to do nothing short of challenging and improving places in our democracy that have suffered. <laughs>